In early 2013, the hierarchy at Ewood Park opted for a strange appointment when they decided to give the managerial job to an inexperienced and unfamiliar name. That gentleman was Michael Appleton. Despite his brief role as Blackburn manager, Appleton has seen his stock rise dramatically over the years since he left Blackburn. He's returned to working as, a, as an assistant manager for some bigger name clubs. However, clubs are now sniffing around once more for Appleton as he seeks a return to first team head coach responsibilities. What if we had Appleton as manager at the start of the 2017-2018 season? Could he handle the pressures of getting the Ewood Park outfit back to the championship at the first attempt? Would the fans want him out before he gets his feet under the table? Is he more of an assistant manager than a head coach? Let's take a look, shall we? So here we are, folks, with my next football experiment with Blackburn Rovers in the 2018 edition of Football Manager. In this episode, we're going to simulate the 2017-2018 uh, season of Blackburn Rovers in League One, but with their manager from the past. And in this one, we're going to be bringing back Michael Appleton. That's right. Does anyone remember him in charge? I think he was under under managerial control for a very, very short time. Um, but he is actually hot, hot property right now in the footballing world. A lot of uh, league uh, or championship league one clubs are sniffing around trying to get him as manager uh, moving forward. So maybe we had him a little bit too soon. He's made an excellent assistant manager. What at Leicester City? Um, I think he might have even been at West Brom. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. I don't know his back history, but he was at Oxford. He managed Oxford earlier in the season. Uh, and then that's when he joined Leicester. Uh, he left that all behind. But anyway, let's just take, let's bring him up here and take a look. So here he is, Michael Appleton, the manager of Blackburn Rovers. Not bad statistics when you look at him. 41 years old, so he is pretty young, but his reputation is pretty woeful in the game. Seven grand a week. I'm expecting a lot from you now, uh, Appleton. Now, if you are new to this series, uh, the plan is to simulate the season and then put the points tally and basically just judge the overall performance uh, as manager of Blackburn Rovers in this 2017-2018 and just see how they would rank compared to the achievements of Mowbray. And in the last episode, if you haven't catched it, you got you got to pay a visit and have a look at Gary Bowyer's results because they were pretty phenomenal. Uh, and he is uh, setting the benchmark at the moment. So anyway, let's fast forward to the end of the season. Let's see, see how Michael Appleton did as manager of Rovers. So here we are, folks. 31st of May 2018. And let's bring up Blackburn Rovers and take a look at how they've done with Michael Appleton in charge. Now, as soon as I type this in, you're going to you're gonna find out how well they did. So, uh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, I've fast-forwarded a couple of days. Don't want to do that. Come on. Nervous. I'm nervous. First in League One. Now, first, that, that might be Michael Appleton's doing or not, but take a look at that. There he is. He's still in charge, so credit goes to the fella. Let's take a look at his points tally for Rovers. See how uh, well they performed with this geezer. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, well, well. We are we are setting records uh, episode by episode. Wow, we have a new we have a new leader. Oh my goodness! So forty six games, thirty wins. That's the same as GB. Uh, one more draw than him and one less defeat. Uh, same amount of goal difference, but more importantly, 101 points. That eclipses, obviously, the man, the superstar, the hero of the day, which is Tony Mowbray, who actually did it in real life. But Michael Appleton, credit to you, boy. Credit to you. So let's take a look at Blackburn Rovers first and foremost. Let's take a look at the transfer history. Well, uh, maybe that's why. Because this is a similar... Well, not really... Uh, 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 GB brought in a couple of players, but looks like Appleton brought in absolutely nobody. Is this true? Um, free transfers. Yeah. All transfers. So he got, basically, he didn't bring in anybody. He, the only major casualties, Paul Caddis went, Lewis Corbury, or Corey, whatever, he went um, as well. So they generated a little bit of fundage. But he kept kept the same sort of boys. Some of the other youngsters went out on loan. Um, let's take a look at the statistics for the players. Ryo with 55 appearances, uh, 55 appearances. Paul Downing, second with 50, 51 uh, Bennett, third. Richie Smallwood did his business, 48. Bradley Dack with 45. And that is where it's all at. Look at that. Goals for Bradley Dack, 24. After that, pretty much woeful. Pretty piss poor performance uh, by the rest of the Rovers, boys. Without Bradley Dack, we would be nowhere. But Elliot Bennett... This is actually some mega numbers here. Bradley Dack with 24 goals. But the assists... Elliot Bennett has 24 assists. 
Anyway, it's absolutely crazy what uh, what's happened here with the amount of goals Bradley Dak scored and what the assists Elliot Bennett has done. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the... They made it a checker trade, Northern Section third round, so that's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, was probably one of the best efforts I've seen thus far. But they got knocked out of the FA Cup in the third round by Manchester City. Uh, just 2-1 as well. Not bad. Chapman with the only goal for Rovers. Um... Pretty decent squad as well, put out by Man City. Let's take a look at the statistics for League One and the goals. Well, despite Bradley Dak knocking in 24 goals in all competitions, he's actually finished joint second um, behind David Ball. And I don't even know if David Ball, is he a striker? He is a striker, midfielder as well. But he tops pops with 25 goals in the league. Charlie White and Bradley Dak in uh, joint second with Jack Marriott and Paddy Madden as well. All on 20 goals. Uh, and Agan Mehemeti, Albanians in sixth place. Um, how about assists? Well, yep, Elliot Bennett ripping it away, 21 assists. Miles ahead of second place, Jake Foster, Kaski, Alex Gibley in third. Richie Tower joins him on third with 14 assists. Jay Spearing, ex Rover, in there in fifth place. Now, how about best player or, you know, best average? There we go. Elliot Bennett tops the pops there with number one spot with 7.35. Uh, Bradley Dack in second place with 7.25. Paddy Madden, Todd Kane, ex Rover, Richie Tell wrap up the top five. Josh Tymon, once again, he seems to be knocking up uh, pretty much in all these um, all these experiments. Uh, he's actually a loney from Stoke. So, uh, yeah, he's one to maybe pick up if you're watching and you're trying to do a lower league save. Get him on loan. He seems to be doing the business. Anyway, let's go around the footballing world and see what has been going on in the other bigger leagues. So, Man United are champions with 91 points. Arsenal second. Man City third. Them Dingles do get European football again, uh, finishing seventh. Swansea, Huddersfield and Brighton are doomed to relegation as for uh, the championship. Hull topped the Pops with 90, 82 points. Uh, Preston in second with 78. Middlesbrough failed to do it this time. Derby sneaked through the back door in the playoffs from fifth spot. Bolton, Barnsley and Burton. Three Bs are relegated. Uh, as for League One, we obviously know about Blackburn being top of the Pops with 101 points. Uh, Appleton's old club, 77 points in second place. They joined them and Shrewsbury also joined them in the championship via the playoffs. Wigan, 15th spot. Not bad. Well, actually terrible. Absolutely woeful. Uh, Gillingham, AFC, Wimbledon, Southend and Rochdale will be playing League 2 football in this simulation. As for League 2, let's take a look. Uh, looks like Luton are champions. Lincoln second. Crew are third. And Coventry will join them via the playoffs. And they do. You know, it's pretty decent for them because they finished fourth. As for Crawley and Newport, they'll be back in the non-league football system. So let's backtrack it up one more time and uh, to where we have all the data. Um, so yeah, Appleton is currently top of our uh, our mini league of managers, ex Blackburn uh, Rovers managers. He even he joins GB in eclipsing that of Tony Mowbray's uh, points tally for the season. So fair play to Appleton. Now that is a benchmark for the rest of the Blackburn Rovers managers. I think next up we do Henning Berg. That's right, ex Blackburn Rovers defender. For the Premier League winning days, he also was manager for Blackburn Rose. So in the next episode, we're going to simulate this entire season one more time with him in charge to see how well he fares uh, in this in this tough world of League One football. <laughs>